Terrorist attacks are a stark reality in a post-9-11 world. The Philippine military launches an elite unit to respond to Cambio emergencies. Carmela Fonbuena reports. At least 300 yards up flight of the Confederate, these are our casualties. We will leave them as mass. The Armed Forces of the Philippines shows off its four-month-old CBRNE unit, capable of responding to new threats of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear explosives. It's a unit that the military hopes it will not need to deploy, but incidents worldwide show the threat is real. This 30-man unit is trained to respond to the most demanding emergencies of all, terrorist attacks. The training and the equipment are expensive, but the plan is to grow this team and deploy them nationwide. That this is just uh, uh, the start of uh, building up our own capability and uh, we have started it and we will uh, improve on it. We will uh, come up with a bigger unit and uh, we will uh, acquire uh, more equipment to improve the capability of this uh, unit. The Philippines is where top terrorist Khalid Sheikh Mohammed hatched the Bujinka plot the blueprint of which was used in the 9-11 attack in 2001. In the same year, anthrax, a lethal chemical, was used to lace letters sent to U.S. agencies. Local terrorists bombed a Philippine super ferry in 2004, the biggest maritime terrorist attack in history, and a bus in Makati on Valentine's Day in 2005. There's the Tokyo sarin gas attack in the same year. In Syria, thousands of civilians were killed by chemical attacks. Terrorist threats nowadays include human bombs, liquid bombs, printer bombs, underwear bombs, and bombs surgically implanted in the bodies of terrorists. In 2013, there was the Boston Marathon attack that used pressure cooker bombs. In our case, um, where we actively use this uh, as, uh, as a means of containment, is our deployment in the UN. If you remember, we had, a, um, uh, we had a, a threat of a chemical attack uh, in our deployment in uh, Golan Heights that prompted us to have more uh, protection equipment because the threat is real. Smart Technology, a security company tapped to train the Filipino troops, says armed forces worldwide should continue to upgrade as terrorist groups innovate. From the terrorist point of view, uh, they, they're always looking for new methods to attack us. When, when we become starting more aware on um, explosive sectors, um, they start looking at the other market, for example, anthrax and um, other biological and chemical substances as well. As technology evolves, so does terrorism. The Philippine military says a special crack unit will be one of the many steps in coping with changing threats in a changing world. Carmela Fonbuena, Rappler, Quezon City.